So in this one, we're gonna do a very simple deleting of a post. It's, it's gonna be unbelievably simple. It's gonna be very, very similar to update and edit, um, except instead of updating or editing it, we're just gonna delete it. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the post update stuff, as well as the ID. And then finally, after we're done with it, we're gonna return a redirect. I'm gonna copy the messages and the redirect down here. And we'll say successfully deleted. And we're gonna to wanna to return to a different URL. So let's open up our URLs. We wanna to return to the list URL. So I'm gonna give it a name of list. And I'm gonna import another shortcut called redirect. And redirect takes place of all of this and all we do should do here is redirect and it's gonna be post list. And then we'll do instance.deleted, or excuse me, dot delete, and that will delete the instance from the database and it'll successfully delete it. And then in our URL, uh, we already have this delete, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the ID in front of it. And there we go, so now we have this deleting ability go back into our project, let's go into a post, and I'm just gonna hit delete, and it deleted it. Um, so what we didn't see was a message showing up that is deleted, and that has to do with how our templates are. Our templates are not great right now. Like each template has its own HTML, and Django's a lot smarter than that. So we can do a lot of things to improve on how this is done. So basically right now, each page has, we look at the index page, we look at post detail and post form, each page is rendered as a standard HTML document. Now this is true, you have to do this anyway, but like I said, Django has a smarter way to do this and that's called template inheritance. You know, something we'll do in the next one.